Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com, where we instantly improve the lives for families of critically ill patients in intensive care so that you can make informed decisions, have peace of mind, real power, real control, and so that you can influence decision-making fast, even if you're not a doctor or a nurse in intensive care. This is another episode of Your Questions Answered. And in last week's episode, I answered another question from our readers. And the question last week was, my mom is critically ill in ICU and the ICU team is giving up on her. What should I do? You can check out last week's question by clicking on the link below this video. In today's episode, I want to share this email as part two from Tony, from the same client that I answered the question last week. And this is part of my one-on-one -on -one consulting and advocacy service. Tony's mom is in ICU and she's complaining about how the ICU team is treating her mom. Tony is thankful with the intensive care hotline because it gives them the confidence to challenge the ICU team and continues to fight to get their mom home with a tracheostomy. So today's um, headline and question is, ICU hotline gives us the confidence to challenge the ICU team and fight to get our mom home with a tracheostomy. You can check out last week's question by clicking on the link below this video where it says part one. So here is where it continues. Hi, Tony. The ventilator picture you have sent me pretty much confirms that your mother is stuck on a ventilator with lots of support. She's dependent on 80% of oxygen, which is a high amount. The air we are breathing consists of 21% of oxygen. I would not ask anyone if you're allowed to take pictures, just take them. You can make your own decisions. Just ask them what they have to hide by you taking pictures. Happy to get on a call tomorrow from Patrick. Hi Patrick, thank you so much for the information today. My sister was told she wasn't allowed to be taking photos, so she was able to get this one before they came in and told her to not take any. Your email was very helpful. I am going to be sending a request to the hospital tomorrow and request a meeting to address your findings. I wasn't sure if you have any advice and if you would be willing to be on a call. We really feel we need to move quickly with this and any advice you have, we will take. I do want you as a consultant until we get answers. Please let me know your thoughts and if you would be available tomorrow to be on a call where we address our clinical concerns. Thank you so much from Tony. Hi Tony, your mother can be moved out of the ICU and we can help you help her to get to another ICU if that's what you want. Let's see what we can do after the meeting as scheduled as we need to see a clear clinical picture of your mom's current health situation. We also have intensive care at home that you can check out at intensivecareathome.com where we basically provide a genuine alternative to a long-term stay in intensive care for long-term intensive care patients on a ventilator with a tracheostomy. Unfortunately, at this particular point in time, we are not in your area, but we can continue with the consulting and advocacy service for families in intensive care anyway. Therefore, we can do things, two things for you. Number one, help you to get the outcomes you want, need and deserve for your mom by guiding you through the process. And number two, we can help you set up intensive care at home for your mother when she's able to. There are some home care services and home care providers, home care providers that we can train, even though you're not in, we are not in your area. We can do that online. Again, looking after ventilation and tracheostomy, whether it's in ICU or at home, is a highly specialized area, and it can only be done with intensive care nurses. From Tony. Hi Patrick, thank you so much. This has been so difficult. I don't have time yet for a call, but we'll request a meeting for tomorrow and I will let you know as soon as they give me a time. I will book the hour session as well. Given what you see, is there any chance for us getting her moved out of there? And if her condition is too advanced at this point, is there any possible way we can have her to be at home? I can't believe I'm texting these words. I truly appreciate everything from Tony. Hi Tony, you're very welcome. We'll be waiting for your update. Hi Patrick, thank you again. I will let you know once I hear back about a meeting time. I will register for another hour and again we will continue to use your consulting 
and advocacy throughout all of this. Your information has been made has been made us feel like we have our power back. Your website is so comforting and I can't tell you enough how thankful we are. We felt so incredibly helpless and then I found your site and after your call and I knew we still had a chance to fight. I will be in touch tomorrow. From Tony. Hi Tony, thank you so much for your kind words. Consulting and advocacy for families in intensive care is bread and butter for us. Support would be to guide families how to manage intensive care teams asking the right questions. 99% of families in intensive care don't know what they don't know. They don't know what questions to ask or how to manage intensive care teams to get the outcomes that they want and deserve. And we will continue helping you with all of the above. From Tony. Hi Patrick, we are waiting for a call back for a meeting. I'm going to get online and book an hour session. I sent the request for a meeting early this morning. I have not heard anything back. We also requested it through her nurse to relay to the doctor that we want a meeting. The original pulmonologist, Dr. Miller, was one of the doctors that was removed from my mum's care after his horrific conversation with my family on the first day. We were told he would not be overseeing her care and they would be consulting with the pulmonologist from the sister hospital. My sister just received a call from my mum's nurse asking if Dr. Miller would be allowed to see our mum now. She told her Dr. Chen, head senior care, assured us Dr. Miller would not see her during her stay due to the hostile meeting we had with my family and they needed to have another pulmonologist to attend to her. I have a feeling they're in a little bit of panic right now. I will let you know once I hear back about a meeting time. Thank you again from Tony. Hi Tony, thank you Tony for the update. Irrespective of what they said to you now, we will focus on the clinical updates because of your mum's wishes. Of course, they will say that a transfer to another hospital isn't possible, but again, let's deal with it on the call. I will have another look online on your mum's file to look for any clinical updates. Extubating against your and your mum's wishes is basically murder if she wasn't going to survive. It doesn't matter what they think or they want to talk about, it's more important what you want to talk about. We will argue that extubating your mum is most likely against hospital policy and also against state law. Again, it comes down to following their policies and procedures and honouring the advanced care directive that your mum has documented. Do you have the advanced care directive for your mum in writing? From Patrick. Hi Patrick, we called in to let them know we had to reschedule the meeting and have one set for tomorrow at 8am Eastern time. I will give you a call and more information. They did manage to say the purpose of the call was not to talk about anything clinical but rather speak to extubating our mum. They actually said our mum changed her mind about being on a ventilator prior to her intubation. I told them again she wasn't of sound mind and that we were told by senior social services that she had the right to a third party being present and they could not approach her in a state to have anything changed. They told us that if we don't agree to extubate and quote unquote let her go over the next day or two that they would be forced to extubate her when we are not there because she changed her wishes. So this is really getting ugly now. They also told us there is no chance of getting her transferred to another hospital because she's an elderly patient on a ventilator and it will never happen. We said we would exhaust all of our options and if no transfer is possible then we would transport her home. It was a really horrible call. The doctor told us the readings from the x-ray were so small and corrected themselves so there was no need for a chest drain or further investigation so I asked for the x-rays after the 23rd of February and they told me I can't access them. I said we can have them and I wanted them prior to our meeting. Not sure if that will happen. But they were not happy about giving a third party, about having a third party on the line and they told us they were offended because they are highly respected doctors and it is appalling that we are having anything looked at. I just wanted you to have a general idea of what tomorrow will be like they are very arrogant, but I'm sure you have dealt with that more often than not. Thank you from Tony. 
Hi Tony, I had a look at the arterial blood gas on the 25th of February and the result is average given the level of ventilation support she was on at the time. One could argue that a chest strain might have helped the situation. And yes, I have dealt with those situations before. If they don't want another party on the phone line, well, your question is, what do you have to hide? What do you have to hide to a third party if you are so specialized, which is what they're telling you? And if they're arrogant, let them be arrogant. We'll deal with it tomorrow. You are entitled to bring in anyone on a call that you want to bring in on a call. So don't let them tell you otherwise. Hi, Patrick. Thank you so much. We told, told them we hired a clinical consultant and told them you were an ICU nurse. Our main goal is to find out why she was intubated and then an explanation of what happened after the punctured lung. They were extremely annoyed yesterday when we said we wanted to ask clinical questions and they said the reason for the call was only to talk about extubation so hopefully you can find out why she was intubated on the 21st of February when we received a call on the 20th of February that she was going to be discharged and what action was taken when the results of the x-ray came back on the 22nd of February. I also wanted you to know I had a lawyer call me today that was a referral and he's very familiar with this hospital. He told me they don't have any right to change our mum's directive and actually laughed and said they should know better. He knows the head CEO and is calling him in the morning to see about getting our mum home. I recorded part of the call today and I have to tell you when you challenged them on the tracheostomy and the woman said she can't go home on a tracheostomy because she's ventilator dependent. Your response silenced them, I mean for eight seconds of silence. I knew it was powerful during the call, but when I listened to it again, it was incredible. Thank you again for everything. You gave us the confidence to challenge them and continue our fight to get her home. I will keep you updated as things unfold, but thank you again for truly helping us. Have a great night from Tony. So, how can you become the best advocate for your critically loved one? How can you make informed decisions, have peace of mind, control, power and influence quickly whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care? Well, you will get to that all important feeling of making informed decisions, have peace of mind, control, power and influence when you download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free instant impact report, you will learn quickly how to make informed decisions get peace of mind, real power and real control and how you can influence decision making fast whilst your loved one is critically ill in intensive care. Your free instant impact report gives you in-depth insight that you must know whilst your loved one is critically ill or is even dying in intensive care. Sign up and download your free instant impact report now by entering your email below. In your free Instant Impact Report, you will learn how to speak the secret intensive care language so that the doctors and the nurses know straight away that you are an insider and that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care. In your free report, you will also discover how to ask the doctors and the nurses the right questions, discover the many competing interests in intensive care and how your critically ill loved one's treatment may depend on those competing interests. How to eliminate fear, frustration, stress, struggle and vulnerability even if your loved one is dying. You will get five mind-blowing tips and strategies helping you to get on the right path to making informed decisions, have peace of mind, control, power and influence in your situation. You will get real-world examples that you can easily adapt to your and your critically ill loved one's situation. How to stop being intimidated by the intensive care team and how you will be seen as equals. You will get crucial behind the scenes insight so that you know and understand what's really happening in intensive care and how you need to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care and it's not what you think. Thank you for tuning into this week's Your Questions Answered episode and I'll see you again next week in another update. Make sure you also have a look at our blog section for more tips and strategies or simply send me an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com with your questions. Also have a look at our membership site intensivecaresupport.org for families of critically ill patients in intensive care. 
You can also call me and find phone numbers on the top of our website. Also, have a look at our ebook section and you can get one-on-one -on -one consulting and advocacy with me over the phone via Zoom, via Skype, via email by clicking on the relevant tabs on the top of the website. Thanks for watching. This is Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com and I'll talk to you in a few days.